Myriapods. There are 13,000 species in this subphylum. Myriapoda means many legged, and the species in this group may have as few as 9 or as many as 800 pairs of legs. They have long, worm like bodies, range in size from microscopic to almost a foot in length. They live on the land and usually are found under leaf litter in the soil or under rocks. They are found all over the world in temperate and tropical areas. This is the Dinocodus annulipus. It is the animal of my choice. It is an example of the phylum Anthropoda and is part of the subphylum Myriapoda. It is natively found in southern Africa. Animal diversity. How come there is such a diversity of animals on this planet? And how are they related? We can use a phylogenetic tree to show animals' evolutionary relationships to one another. All animals develop from a common ancestor. This is the colonial protests. They then evolved to be one unit, which either had no true tissues, the first animals, or true tissues. This is the first division. The next division of true tissues is over radial or bilateral symmetry. Bilaterally symmetrical animals are then divided over having or not having cavities. The division of those that have cavities was whether the cavity was enclosed with or without mesoderms. So the division of those that have a cavity enclosed by mesoderm is to do with the cell and the digestive tract. A phylogenetic tree shows how animals evolve from one another so that they become more complex. My animals classification. It is part of the kingdom Animalia. Phylum Anthropoda. Class Dilopoda. Order Spurostreptida. Family Spurostreptida. Genus Dinocodus. Species Anubidus. My animal and all the animals in this phylum are bilaterally symmetrical. This symmetrical arrangement of an organism along a central axis means that the organism can be divided into two equal halves. As seen above, you can see the animal is moved along the axis of symmetry. Bilateral symmetry is a characteristic of animals that are capable of moving freely throughout their environment as they are better adapted to efficient movement. This is compared to radius symmetry. Myriapods have only two functional body regions, a head and a trunk. The head is specialized for sensing the environment, eyes and antenna, and ingesting food. The trunk is adapted for locomotion, also contains most of the internal organs. As a head assumed a more prominent role in the organism's survival, it increased in size and usefulness. This is the process of symphilization, as a distinct functional head is now present. Myriapods have a brain, ventral nervous cord, complex or simple eyes, and an antenna. All arthropods are triploblastic, meaning that they have three distinct layers of germ in their bodies. They have endoderm, where the digestive system is, Mesoderm, in which are the internal organs. Ectoderm, this comprises of the skin, exoskeleton, and nervous tissue. These all develop from the embryo. Myriapods, like us, have two gut openings. The first is the mouth, where food is taken into the digestive system. From here, food goes into the Malpagian tubes, where it is digested, before being expelled into the hind gut for further processing. The second opening is the anus, from where liquid digestive material is wasted. They have an open circulatory system, which are sinuses, meaning that they are cavities within tissues that a fluid is circulated in. An open circulatory system describes a system where blood and interstitial fluid are allowed to mix. There is no true blood since it is mixed with other fluids. Humans have a closed circulatory system, which means that our blood and other fluids never mix. The fluid is pumped by a heart that runs the entire length of the body, with an aorta stretching into the head from the myriapods. A coelom is a cavity lined by an epithelium, derived from the mesoderm. Organisms that form inside the coelom can move freely, grow, and develop independently of the body wall, while the fluids cushion and protect them from shocks. Millipedes are small and prey on small animal growths. They are bilaterally symmetrical and thus are more adapted for locomotion. Symphila and Proidopora are microscopic and thus can feel on smaller fungi and bacteria. Centipedes' first pair of legs behind the head contain poison glands and are modified as fangs for killing prey. Millipedes have two pairs of legs per body segment. They're not as fast as centipedes and often curl into a ball and release a self defensive spray as protection from predators. They all reproduce sexually and have to find mates, and thus are the reason for their locomotion. The role of centipedes and millipedes as members of land arthropoda are as predators. 
Millipedes and centipedes are in the ecological system to feed on harmful fungi and bacterial growth, as well as other harmful pests, such as beetles, shrews, hedgehogs, rodents, frogs, lizards, turtles and birds, so to control their numbers. Pods play a vital role in the environment. They control pests in the environment and by not conserving them, pests can become out of control. This is detrimental. For example, that there could be too much fungi or bacteria around the plant. This would be bad for the plant's health and those that eat the plants. Or if there become too many mice or other pests, it would also decrease plant numbers. Interesting facts. Some specific species of Myriapoda can even glow in the dark to attract their prey. Most centipedes produce a cyanide venom on their fangs to help kill their prey. Centipedes can now grow as long as a foot in length, but in prehistoric times they could have grown as long as 3 meters. Thank you. This is a school project by Andrew McAdam.